channel if you are new here my name is Jasmine I make lifestyle and beauty videos if you're returning welcome as well thank you so much for your love and support I truly do appreciate it so for today's video I'm gonna be showing you how I make my chicken alfredo here at home it's some quick and easy steps that I found on Pinterest and it's something that my hubby and I have been doing for quite a while sometime so before we get started I want to let you guys know that I am NOT a chef um, this is just some steps that work for me and basically what I do when I'm making my chicken alfredo so if you're interested go ahead and just keep on watching okay so I have all my ingredients set out and then I have my Pinterest open just so I can follow it okay so what you're gonna need to make the chicken alfredo is depending on how many people you have in your family for us it's just two so we're making two boneless skinless chicken breasts but you can use two to three and then you're gonna need some fettuccine noodles these ones we got them at Bristol Farms so that's why they look all circular because there wasn't any more of the other ones two tablespoons of cream cheese which is this one right here one pint of heavy cream one or two tablespoons of garlic powder, chopped parsley, three, four cups of uh, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper. Lastly, you're also gonna need one half cup of butter, which is right here. So I'm gonna be using a cast iron to do the chicken. Originally, the recipe says to do it in the oven, which you can, but I just prefer the taste of the cast iron. I just put the temperature to medium heat, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. And then while that's heating up, I'll go ahead and season the chicken. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna add is salt and pepper. So now we're just gonna add some hot water. So we can start on our pasta. And then we're just gonna put this at medium heat. And then for this part, I like to add a little bit of salt just to give it a little more flavor. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the chicken down. And then you wanna leave it there for five minutes on each side. And then don't move them. So don't play with them or nothing. Just let them cook for five minutes. And just so we don't have it, like the oils popping up, we're going to use this splash guard and just put it over it. Just so we won't, don't make that much of a mess. This splash guard, I got it from Amazon. So I'll go ahead and link it down in the description box. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and flip them. And then I'm gonna leave them for another five minutes on the other side. Okay, so our water is finally boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask, add the pasta to it. Obviously, depending on what pasta box you are using, just go ahead and follow the instructions for that one. Okay, so I also like to use this meat thermometer that I got from Amazon, which I'll also link down below. But it's a great way for me to know when the chicken is ready and not have me like overcook it or undercook it, just so I know that it's at its perfect point. So this one's really easy to use. You're basically just going to put this inside the chicken, kind of like in the middle area. And then on here, I put my designated temperature that I want the chicken to be. And then on the left side, it tells you what the temperature is at this moment. So as you can see, it's still at 154. So it needs about 10 more just to reach the temperature that it's supposed to be at. So as you can see on the left side, it's at 162. So it's really close to the temperature that I want it to be. So what I'm gonna be doing now is taking out the chicken. Just because once you take out the chicken, inside it is still cooking. So it's gonna reach that temperature even though it's not on the skillet. So as you see, it actually beeps when it reaches its temperature. So I put it out for a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna take this out and then move on to the next step. 
Okay, so while the pasta is cooking, we'll go ahead and start on our Alfredo sauce. So the first thing that we're gonna add is the butter. So we're gonna add those two in there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and let it melt. So you're gonna wait until it's fully melted and then I put it to medium um, heat. Just make sure not to burn it. So just keep an eye out for that one. So now that it's fully melted, we're gonna go ahead and add the cream cheese. And then this is a part where you can use a whisk, um, but I'm just gonna use a plastic spatula for this, just because I don't want my pan to get all sketched up with the whisk. You wanna make sure that you're whisking constantly, so just until everything has dissolved so once that's fully dissolved, we're gonna go ahead and add the heavy whipping cream. And for this part, you wanna go ahead and add it very slowly. So the next thing you're gonna add is the garlic powder. And then just keep whisking and then go ahead and add some parsley. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper. You wanna make sure that you're whisking at all times cause you don't want your sauce to burn. So you wanna make sure to keep whisking. Um, you don't wanna you don't want it to come to a boil or else it's gonna start burning, so just keep whisking to avoid that. You wanna bring this up into a simmer and then you wanna leave it there for about 20 minutes. The whole time just keep whisking, don't let it come up to a boil or else you're gonna go ahead and burn the sauce. So just keep whisking. This is the part that takes the longest out of like the whole thing, but I promise you it tastes so good and it tastes really really similar to the Olive Garden one so it's definitely gonna be worth it so our pasta is pretty done at this point so now we're just gonna go ahead and drain it on the sink so we're just gonna go ahead and drain it. so now we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and we're gonna remove it quickly and we're gonna start adding our Parmesan cheese. And then just start whisking it. And then you're gonna wait until it starts to thicken up. And that's when you're gonna know when it's ready. So this should be the consistency that you should be getting. It's pretty thick, as you can see. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut the chicken. We honestly don't make this as much as I would want to make it just because it's super unhealthy and we're trying to eat healthier. But every now and then I love to make it because I honestly love pasta so much. Okay, so that concludes the end of this video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what your favorite dish to make. 
Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below to be part of my journey here on YouTube. And I'll go ahead and see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.